Hey, hey, we've got a new camera, a new lens, a full new studio, and it's quarter four, baby. I am feeling fresh, ready to go, ready to make a lot, a lot of money. It's going to be crazy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Hayden Bulls. If you don't know who I am, I've been operating the e-commerce industry for about the last six years. We have one of the largest e-commerce space YouTube channels, one of the top rated e-commerce training programs. I actually just got off of a group call this morning with everybody inside of there. We do those at no cost. We we're doing a bunch of quarter four prep and all that stuff. So feel free to check that out down below if you haven't already. And we do a lot of fun stuff in the e-commerce industry. I also buy way too much real estate with the money I make from e-commerce. But what I'm going to do in this video is give you all the products that I see right now that are popping up in my own research, trending products, things that I'd be looking to sell. And these are things that you can literally copy. I give you the permission, just take this, copy it, run with it. But I'm not just going to give you the products. I want to give you the ad strategies, the examples, the targeting, the offer structures, all that, and all the research to back it up so that you can be informed and use this full tutorial to your advantage to make money over the next three months. Okay. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Let's jump right in winning products for 2022, specifically quarter four. Okay. This is the most profitable time of the year. Just to give you a good frame of reference, about half the money I make throughout the entire year averaged over the last six years comes in the last three months. So it's very important to do this right. There's a lot of things that we do and I'll get into that. Okay. So some general ideas before I jump into products. Let's talk through this winter and cold weather products, right? But there's a lot of things to think of. So people are at home more because of that. A lot of home goods do well. Okay. Snuggle type products. These are your, you know, throw pillows, your fuzzy blankets, stuff like that. Okay. Like the movie night type stuff, relationship products. Okay. Usually you're watching a movie together. You're doing the holiday stuff, going to the pumpkin patch, all those fun activities, right? Those can do well. Lights. I'm a big fan of the light industry. I've seen people make way too much money. In fact, they're recently helped a 19 year old cross $2 million a month selling LED lights just through TikTok ads. Haven't even started any other advertising platforms. Crazy. However, people are going to be paying more attention to their home and the setup and the room and the living room because it builds off of the home goods because they're at home. They're inside. It's usually cold depending on where you live, right? So great, great for attention there. Um, food accessories. Okay. I love this. You're going to see a couple mug examples and different things that we do that'll build off of that. Okay. Now, how would I be selling these products? This is very important, okay? I hope you enjoy this uh, before we jump all the way into the crazy product research side, but these are things you gotta know, okay? So I would 100% be starting with TikTok ads and TikTok ads only. Facebook has so many restrictions and problems, especially when you're starting brand new ad accounts. TikTok, using Spark ads with the strategies that we go through in our TikTok Blueprint program, we go very in-depth on that because TikTok is such a powerful platform. And while it's changing, you're still early. It's only been around for advertising for like two years. So it's crazy. Lower budget to start with. You can scale much faster, higher potential organic reach. I have videos that go viral. Myself, on my personal page, I've had crazy videos get massive amounts of views. We've done the same exact thing for e-commerce videos. In fact, I'm doing a case study this month on how we got 5 million views organically for $0 through TikTok on a product that we sell, okay? There's a lot less restrictions like I mentioned. And again, it's good to be early. You see what happened to Facebook? Very difficult, very annoying, very frustrating for advertising. TikTok is slowly moving in that direction, but you still have a lot of time. So it's important to jump in right now. Okay. So let's start going through some products. Product number one, a thick weave blanket. This is actually cool because I have a friend that has one. So I've seen it. I felt it. It's thick. It's durable. It's quality. It just feels like a $200 product. Okay. Although it doesn't cost that much. Okay. Very much so a decor item. Great for winter. A bit front of mind this time of year, right? If people are cold, you got the air conditioning cranked in the house or it's cold outside. If you live anywhere where it snows, you got the fireplace on, you got a big blanket. Really cool. You could make an ad that targets around that. And this product is nice because there's three different sizes. So you can source different sizes, which would be great. It gives your customers some variable rate change so they could spend a little bit less or a little bit more. I'll give you some examples here. This would cost you about $35 to source. Again, there's multiple sizes. You could sell this for about $90. Amazon sells it for about 80. There's other stores between that 70 to $100 range. I kind of take a middle of the pack average. As long as you advertise really well, it doesn't really matter what your price is. You could sell it for more than Amazon. It's not really a problem, but I always like to start low. So this is my approach with anything e-commerce related. I'll start my ads and sell it for 70 because if it doesn't sell for 70, why would it sell for 90? right? And I also just want to get momentum on my ad account. It's a huge thing with advertising is to just get sales coming in because once you do that and you break that obstacle, the rest of this is super easy. Okay. Now a possible offer idea. There's different size variants, 
buy one, get one half off, right? Do you want two? Or do you want to bundle it with a throw pillow or anything else that's a similar product? I really like bundles because it boosts your average order value a ton. And that's really where we make the profit on the e-commerce stuff. I don't care if it costs me $20 or 30 to acquire the customer, right? Paying TikTok or Facebook ads, right? I just care how much I can make from that customer. So it makes it a little bit easier to make a ton of profit. Now, targeting options, blanket, home decor. And then as always on TikTok, I'll give you some free game right here. One of the best audiences is just targeting nobody, everybody in the US or everybody in the US and Canada. Those very broad audiences work really well on a lot of ad platforms, especially if you have higher budget ads that you're running. Okay, let's jump into the next product here. And then I've got like eight articles, research back and all this stuff, a bunch of examples that we're going to go through. So get ready. Give me a like again, a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Number two, a coffee cup warmer. This would also work for hot chocolate, right? Winter, cold type products, holidays. These are the things that work really well. So this product is basically a disc. It's a coaster that plugs in via USB and it's a hot pad. So you set your coffee on there or you set your hot chocolate. How cool would it be to film an ad where there's hot chocolate with marshmallows and cinnamon and it looks really cool. If somebody sees that as they're getting into winter and they just got back from shovel in the driveway, tell me they're not going to buy that product right? It's one of those things where you can kind of hit people at the right time of the year. And maybe that builds into a whole coffee brand or an accessory brand or something like that. So a lot of different options and it's cheap to get very, very cheap. And this is just off AliExpress. You could probably get this cheaper. Okay. Again, I like it. It serves two purposes. Very simple. It's a coaster and it warms it. But again, you can market it for any drink. So I love that. Very large market. Think about just in general, the coffee drinkers, huge, huge, huge market. An offer idea for you just to give you something realistic. Buy two, get one 50% off. You might need more than one of these. Maybe you want one on your desk and you want one on the kitchen counter. Who knows? Easy way so that your coffee doesn't go cold as fast. Now, the next one is kind of a home decor type product. This is an automatic light sensor on your outlet that's not a very aggressive light, just dim lighting for at night. So if you walk by it, it senses that and turns on and illuminates your entire hallway, your bedroom, whatever. I actually have this product in my house. This is a picture that I took. This is the same product. It has a light and I'll tell you, under every single outlet in my house, I have this. It looks so sick at night. It actually looks really cool on the wall. As you walk by it, it's just on an automatic sensor. Really, really great product. Also very cheap. The cool thing, and this is what I think about as an advertiser, right? I've done over $25 million with e-commerce. I've directly coached and consulted another 60 to 70 million. Our agency has done more. Our courses and everybody, like it's, it's, it's crazy. I've been involved in a lot. The thing I like about this product, my opinion on it, it's so cheap. And how many outlets do you have in your house? It's not two, it's not six. If you have a house, it's probably 40, 50, 80. You don't need it in all of them, but it'd be very easy to sell a six pack, a 10 pack, a 20 pack, right? Nobody would buy less than three. You're not buying one of these. That would be really weird. So you're gonna kind of illuminate a hallway or some sort of bedroom, whatever it is. So really, really cool. A great product, general home good. Again, um, lots of people have never seen it. Like this is a new product. It's not It's not that it's brand new. It's just that it has not been marketed in the e-commerce space. So great opportunity and it solves a problem. You don't have to turn on your lights. The next one is something I've shown before that I really like because I haven't seen anybody make a super cool TikTok ad about this. This is a metal, very heavy, five plus pound horse where it's like partial metal, but partial LED lights building off of it. Just a great product. Now, go find this that's a car, that's you know, a horse, a dog, any any you know, animal, anything, any you know vehicle, whatever, like anything. Just a statue like this where it only costs you $12. Like, like that's so cheap, right? Something that's metal. Every single customer that holds this product in their hands is gonna think this is such a high value for what they paid because it's heavy, it's durable, and it's real. It's good, it's quality. It's not some crappy plastic thing from China. So that's really cool, and I think this would be great for TikTok. You got a lot of upside. This is one of those products where you could source it for $10 and sell it for 70. That's what we call a grand slam home run, okay? So again, great, great stuff there. The next one, an oral flosser. So this is basically a water flosser instead of actual floss going in between your teeth. Now I'm no dentist, it's probably not 100% as effective, but it'd be very easy to make a lot of animated ads. And I've seen people crushing on this. In fact, I had another coaching student who was also inside of our e-commerce program, I think he was on today's call, who was doing about $2,000 a day selling this product. He's pretty new, like he wasn't unskilled, but he's not the most skilled advertiser, he's still learning right? And doing $2,000 a day. Now, not all that was profit, but it was a pretty healthy margin. So there's a lot of people that could be the you know, customers for this product. Think about the, the size of your addressable market. It's not a million people. 
It's everybody. Everybody has teeth, right? Everybody hopefully flosses. So this would be another way to do that, right? Another one that builds off of that that you could kind of have on the same store if you want to build a niche store. A lot of people ask me, Hayden, should I have a niche store or a one product store or a general store? Well, oftentimes a niche store makes sense because you could put on a couple products that are similar and just test them all back to back. So this product, which is also in the you know health and personal care space, is an ear pick, but it has a camera on the end. I would actually be a little bit freaked out too, but would love to try this. I think it'd be really cool. Um, and it's one of those things that's a high value product. I'm in a camera, it's like a medical device, uh, but really cool, solves a problem. And I know for a fact, you could make so many cool TikToks that are like satisfying videos, you know, of like removing earwax. Like people watch that stuff, like the pimple popper. That guy's like 5 million followers or whatever. It's crazy. There's a lot of different articles you can look at. Shopify has some, uh, Printify. You can just go in general and like look through all these platforms. Go, go Google like top selling products 2022. There's a lot of research and general articles people put together that are somewhat helpful. A lot of these products might not apply if you're trying to drop ship, but I'll give you an example. I helped a coaching student scale this product to $140,000 a day. Like it just, this is a random article that I had nothing to do with that I've never seen before. And they put on a real winning drop shipping product. Incredible. So there's all sorts of different things, you know, hair dryer brush. I remember selling that on Facebook back in the day, $7,000 a day. Boom. You know, all sorts of products here. So you can get a lot of ideas of different things that you could sell. Rechargeable hand warmer. That's cool. Like all sorts of different products that you can sell here. A mini waffle maker, you know, a neck massager. We have someone who's trying to sell that right now inside of our group. Like there's a lot of products. So Let's take a look at this article on Printify. If you guys aren't familiar with Printify, massive, massive company. What products sell best in the winter? Okay. These are the categories that they say you should look for during the holiday. Apparel, home decor. Look at that. I was right. Accessories. Uh -huh, there we go. And holiday items. Uh -huh. Now, I'm a little bit cautious on like selling something that's super specific that could only be sold during that time of the year. I'm more for selling a product that builds off of an item like that so that you could get an increased sales volume this time of year and use that to kickstart the business. I don't want to start something that I can only sell for two months, okay, right? But I want to start something that I can sell year round, but it'll be easier to start because it's quarter four and it's the holidays, okay? So for an example, um, they said, we're seeing a cooling period year over year for the holiday sales. 2021 e-commerce uh, sales made a hefty leap and they did $886 billion in revenue. Okay, it's a 14% increase. Okay, that's massive. Well, I would say that there was a lot of people at home, a lot of stores still closed, people freaking out about the virus and whatnot. So I can see that that's realistic. Now, they said, here's our top 20 best-selling winter products. Hoodie, long sleeve shirt, socks, pom-pom beanie. Let's actually take a look through some of the stuff they have here. Add in all the photos. Okay, some basic stuff. Maybe some boots would work really well that are kind of Christmas-themed boots. You could build a shoe brand. That's awesome. Pajamas, mugs. Oh, look at that. See, different mugs work really well. I love that. You know, Sherpa fleece blankets, blankets of all kinds, like this one that I had showed you guys that was the thick weave. Any version of this, there's weighted blankets. There's a lot of products like that that can do really well. So I love to kind of look through these and get more ideas. Hoodie blanket. Now, there's a main company called the Udi. Um, I'll show you guys that here. Udi blanket. Um, and this is one that's that's been, you know, very viral for a long time. Um, I believe his name is Dave Fogarty, the founder of this. But they're kind of like, you know, the, the original one of this. They got a lot of different styles, all sorts of stuff. You can see how much they sell it for. They sell this for a premium because they are the people. They're the go-to. They are the brand, right? So it's just like how, you know, a certain car company can charge more because they're the car, right? Gucci is, is Gucci, even though I'm not a fan. But you get the idea. Would you like a hug and $25 off? That's awesome. This is a great freaking pop-up right there. But you get the idea. You can get a lot of ideas from different things. Now, like a stocking. I probably wouldn't be selling that. It's just too much of a trendy product. And to scale it and do all that work and not be able to have the longevity is not really something that, that I'm a huge fan of. Candles, big, big fan, big fan. You're gonna see that here in a second. Actually, let's jump over. I'll show you my, my candle example for you, okay? Here's one right after the earwax that I had found, okay? Or the ear picker thing. Uh, this is a really cool candle that builds off of the holiday idea, right? Look at this. Massive candle, you got like a, an orange, it's like layered in cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, you got leaves, and that's all fake, obviously, and then you got the wick in the middle. So it, it's also on a wooden base. Like that is the most holiday-themed thing. Every single mom in the world would want this if they're cele celebrating the holidays. Like that's just perfect. Target the US and Canada, that thing, run it up, that's money, okay? You sell it for 30 bucks. So something like that is very easy, and again, a lot of people like to spend more money on that. Like candle sales went through the roof when the virus hit because everybody was at home. 
So they're using the candles more. They wanted it. And when it was advertised to them, they want some way to improve their home, right? So people are looking for that stuff. Puzzles, eh, you know, tumblers, different things. Those are like more accessories in the kitchen. Slippers, great. I have a buddy who does a million a month selling slippers. He has a main brand in one of the slipper industries. Gift wrapping paper, a little too niche for me. Plush toys. Those can always work well, depending on what you're doing. Oven mitts. There's actually a new type of plush toy right now that's like a like a weighted anxiety plush toy is how it's being advertised on TikTok. Nonetheless, pretty interesting. So we can kind of go look through all of these. Like let's, you know, let's look up holiday candle, right? And you can just start seeing stuff. I don't source off AliExpress, absolutely not, but I'm looking for ideas, okay? And while this one doesn't have a lot sold, right? It only has 20 orders. Look at this. This is very much so a holiday theme. So if you're going to go build a brand around candles, you could have four or five different types of candles that you launch, see which one performs best and scale it up really heavily during quarter four. So like this could be a great opportunity. And again, very inexpensive. You know, I'll bet this product would cost you like $2 or less. So again, it doesn't cost a lot to go through and test these products and find different ones that work. Like, look at this. Here's another version. This has got like different leaves and stuff. So like you can find other ones that aren't holiday related once this is working and Christmas is over or the holidays are over. And you know, it doesn't matter because a lot of the world doesn't celebrate these holidays. So it just depends. They have all sorts of variations of this that you could that you could do. So again, like these would sell all year round. So it just used this time of the year to, to get a boost in sales. So let's jump over to Shopify's article because they have a, you know, a lot of insight, a lot of data on what products are trending. Here's what Shopify said. And this was a, a recent article for you. Okay, a couple weeks ago. Trending products to sell. Power tools, dog toys, costume, costume shoes, laptop batteries. That's interesting. Shot glasses, all this stuff. Let's scroll down and get some some, uh, some pictures here. Okay, costume shoes. Interesting for your Halloween costume or your holiday stuff. Again, a little bit more niche than I would personally go for. But nonetheless, shot classes, global order growth year over year, 8,000%. Think about that for a second. You have an industry that's growing by 8,000% year over year. Now, again, that data could be a little skewed over the last few years with many bars and restaurants being closed or people not going out as much. But nonetheless, it's a massive increase. So this is also something that can be sold year round. So a lot of different things. Slip covers, all sorts of different things that go over your... Uh, your furniture, wall plates, and covers. There you go. This is not the light. This is just like a colorful decoration. More products there. You could build a whole home decor thing. You could have multiple types of products just for outlets, right? You could have the design one. You could have a light under it. You have all sorts of stuff. Baby shirts, interesting, 5,000% growth. All of these are just ideas. Now, if you've never seen this graph before, this right here is Google Trends. So you can jump over here. Let's take a look. Baby shirts. Google Trends just helps show you some search results. So if you're trying to do product research, this can be a great way to just like, you know, get get some info on it. Um, and yeah, you can look worldwide, change country, whatever, depending on what you're trying to do and look at the total amount of searches and what people are looking at. So yeah, it's an easy way to kind of look up some general stuff, um, you know, depending on what people are, are searching, like holiday gifts. Let's see there, you got a, you know, big drop off. Obviously look, look at the spike in the search volume as the holidays come in. You know, right now it's the beginning of October. Okay, this is last year. This is just starting to surge. So over the next 60 days, you're going to see this massively increase. All the people here on December 18th, right? That's the, the peak of the search. That's where everybody's only got like four days left, like six days until uh, Christmas. They're trying to get their last minute orders. And then it just drops off a cliff. So again, probably not the best throughout the year. But like you get those ideas. You can see that and try to identify you know a trend that might work in your favor. Okay. Curtain and drape rings, very unique. Like that's a that's a home goods product. I'm sure it could work well. There's probably brands that make a ton of money selling that, but they sell that for a lot. You know, they can sell them for a premium, but it generates 22,000 searches per month. Also different variations. Uh, you know, if you're targeting different SEO, you want to use different keywords. Shower curtains is one, you know, wooden curtain rings, you know, all sorts of stuff. So you get the idea. Cabinet knobs and handles, interesting, unique knobs, different handles all sorts of stuff, watch accessories. So, you know, again, tumblers. So you're starting to see like repeating themes in different articles. Like many times it's mentioned tumblers, you know, search volume is 5 million per month, you know, and that's just tumblers in general, which could be taken out of context, but glass tumblers, tumbler cups, a lot of searches. Okay. Model train sets, signage, all sorts of stuff, wedding dresses. That's a little bit outside the drop shipping world, motor vehicle parts, same there. So you get the idea. A lot of different things that are working there. Now, 
There's all sorts of products that can work. I'll give you another one that I like, all sorts of diffusers. You don't have to copy this one exactly. There's a ton of different types of diffusers, but there's great ways that you can film the ads. So for this one, I've seen a lot of ads for this. It's a pretty small, it's kind of like the size of a cup. So you could put it in the cup holder of your car. That's how I've seen a lot of people advertise these, and I know they're making money. But you could set it in the bedroom in your bathroom, in your kitchen, wherever. It's just kind of like a centerpiece on the coffee table in your living room. There's all sorts of things you could do there uh, that could help you get some some just better ads that really try to attract more people. So again, there's like a lot of different products on that side. Now, let's continue on through here. This one has 35 different products. There's all sorts of stuff, you know, build your own fort for your kids, a weighted eye mask. That's a totally unique angle on sleep. So if you could do some research, find the benefit of certain things with sleeping, like what's the benefit of just wearing an eye mask when you sleep? You know, not having a lot of light change on your eyelids, which you can still kind of get some light through. Does that help your sleep quality? Can you find a piece of data, like a statistic? Hey, your sleep goes up 11% and then the weighted one helps calm some anxiety and just put you to sleep faster. It's a huge industry, massive. Personalized glass art. I've actually tried this product before. Struggled to get it working. It was doing about $2,000 a day, but the profit margin just wasn't great. Um, but, uh, you know, natural beanies, those are normal stuff. Pans, all sorts of things. Weighted blanket, like I had mentioned, building off the blankets, okay? Weighted blanket. So you build a home, you know, type decor, personal thing on like a home decor store. You got weighted blanket, thick weave blanket. You got an eye mask, a weighted eye mask. That's four products for you right there. Boom, go run it. That's all you need. You don't need more than four products. You don't even need four. So again, easy ways to get started. Air fryers, massive. 100 movies, scratch off poster. Well, you got to scratch off. The th that's actually really cool. Scratch it off and then you have to watch that movie or I imagine that's what it is. That's cool. Like, how is that not cool? So, you know, go sell that. Like, all of these are great products. Electric wine opener, classic, all sorts of things. So, you're seeing all these things. You can go do research. Amazon's a great spot as well to do a lot of research on products. Um, you know, not that you're fulfilling there, but I'm just trying to get all sorts of angles. You know, even go on Alibaba and look at things. Like, I just want to see what products are selling. So, like, if we go back over here, like, let's look up weighted blanket, okay? Do you know how many of these they've probably sold? Okay, a real weighted blanket. These are more like the comforters. Where's the actual blanket? Okay, 2,900 reviews. That means on average, they're going to get a 1% review rate. Okay, that means they've sold 290,000 of these for $59. Okay, that is insane. Let's do some simple math. Let's just say they've, yeah, they've sold 300,000 of them. Okay, times $59. That's $17.7 .7 million that they've sold of weighted blankets just through this one Amazon listing. And if there's anything I know about people doing FBA, they never have just one Amazon listing ever. So incredible, incredible, right? All sorts of stuff. So you can use that as an example to prove that there's a market for it, there's product market fit, the reviews are good. Exactly. There's a lot of different styles of this. Okay. There's thick ones, there's comforters, blankets, all sorts of things. So, you know, I'm just cross-referencing. That's how I start building a list of products that I want to sell. It's just general research, looking through all these articles. I want to find some stuff that works. And especially when it comes to quarter four, like you have to be doing stuff in advance. Like right now, if you want to take advantage of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you need a store done, ads ready, everything up and running, the store complete, domain, everything set up in the next seven to 14 days. You have like two weeks. You know, so like there's a timeline there. Don't miss it again. Feel free to go through our e-commerce program. It's under $1,000. The price will be going up again in a month. We go through all the affiliate marketing training inside of there, giving you access to private offers in case you don't want to drop ship. You just want to sell and just advertise because that's the main skill that we teach. So we actually get people inside of a platform that's a private platform. You can't get access unless you prove proof of funds and that you've sold 10 plus million dollars worth of products online. Like you have to have a, you have to be a serious player. And we get people guaranteed access in there to these products where you sell a product for 30, but the company's going to pay you 30. So there's no product cost. You don't have to do support, fulfillment, none of that. There's no operational drag. Now you're not building a business, but a lot of people are using that to take the same skill we teach with e-commerce to just build really cool cash flow. It's called CPA affiliate marketing. It's a very unique style of affiliate marketing where it's, it's kind of the private side of the industry. Most people can't get access to it. So we give access to that and a lot of other stuff, all these products, great strategies on things you can be doing, you know, how we're selling the products, um, you know, all of that stuff. So yeah, there's a lot more. Um, 
you know, feel free to go jump through Google, find a ton of different products that are working, go start something. I'm all for it. Like test, 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 put together a store. I hope this served you well. Quarter four is going to be a very profitable time of the year. I'm super excited for this one, especially because TikTok is going to help take it to another level with us. We've been putting a ton of attention on there. Even in the last week, I hired two more people to be making content for TikTok only. And I'm really excited for the results that we're going to get from it. So I'll continue to share that with you. As you guys know, my whole goal here is transparency, just showing you the behind the scenes of the industry that most people don't show you because they're not really involved. They might have been involved at one point, but they probably haven't been for years. So this is from someone who's actively involved, who's searching. I have people who are researchers and they put together products and ads and examples and they do all that stuff. So hope you can kind of piggyback off that. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, leave it down below. If you got any value from this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.